Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All for Nintendo DS. As soon as I left off, we began our first court or trial of this case, and well, we found out that Von Karma has been shot. Wow, that freaked me out. Well, I just kept saying, what? And yeah, that's what everybody's uh, reaction was. So, of course, to fill our place, we got Miles Edgeworth, just like old times. So now we've heard a testimony and uh, really can't get anything yet. So let's see, uh, let's hear this testimony. Why arrest Engard? Matt Engard and Juan were huge rivals of each other. They each thought the other guy was in his way. That motive and that's more than enough in my book. As for evidence, there's a jamming ninja's button. It was ripped off the ninja costume was found in Mr. Engard's Hakama. The defendant's fingerprints were also all over the knife. The defendant brought the knife for the crime, which makes this a premeditated pre murder. Blah. I, can't, I can never speak when it comes to this damn game. Hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were found at the knife used in the stabbing. It was sort of a sticky on the handle, so the fingerprints came out pretty clearly, sir. Huh. That's the knife that was used to stab him, although he was already strangled. And there's the button. That was found in the defendant's clothes, was it? Hmm. And is this button also covered in blood? Yes, and we know that the blood is on it is the victim's blood, sir. What? Oh my god, where are we at? This, there really is a mountain of incriminating evidence here. All oh, this points very clearly to the defendant, doesn't it? Yes, it most certainly does, Your Honor. Ready to give in yet, right? Huh. I'll find a hole in your argument somehow. You can press as hard as you like. Just hurry up with your useless, usual pointless questions. Ugh. He's irritating as before, too. Well... You know, hold on a minute. Let's look at a couple of these uh, new evidence here. Bears the victim's blood and on, on guards fingerprints. It's in the grip. It's it's gate ugh, engraved is gate water. So we come to the assumption that this is a knife from the gate water hotel. That's deductive reasoning for you guys. And a button that was ripped from the costume is covered in Juan's blood, and it's found, it was found in Angar's costume. So, there we go. However, now that we know that the knife came from the Gatewater Hotel, that kind of brings up a contradiction in the last statement that was presented in this testimony. As you can see, uh, I believe it's the next one here. He bought the knife for the crime. How can he buy it when... Hello? It was from the Gatewater Hotel! Objection. Wait a second! What? So the basis of your argument was that it was a premeditated murder. Is simply that my client bought a knife beforehand? Well, that's right, pal. The defendant... ...did not buy this knife. Huh? Take a good look at the handle of this knife, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Huh? It has a Gatewater seal set into the handle. Gatewater? I think I've heard that name somewhere before. Ah, uh, I wonder where. That's the name of the hotel. The Gatewater Hotel? Uh-oh. <laughs> I like that. Ah, uh, you know, what's his name? Gumshoe is like a guy you just like want to hug or something because how dumb he is at certain times. The murder knife was actually property of the hotel, which means this murder was not premeditated. Oh, there he is. He saw the hole. Oh, yes, that is very true. This is a very big... <laughs> what is it, Mr. Edgeworth? I'm sorry, but the defense is simply too careless. What? Uh, here we go. Can't wait to hear what he has to say. I think whether the crime was premeditated or not has already been determined. How so? I admit this knife is hotel property. Which is, has no one currently at the police force that is dumb enough not to realize this. I 
Did it? No. Oh. Oh, come on. That's sad. The question is... Whether, where did this knife come from? Why, that's obvious. It came from the victim. Juan's room. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor, but that's incorrect. Ah. The victim ate a last meal before he was murdered. With that being the case, I would like to draw the court's attention to what is on top of the table. Oh, wait, yeah. There's a knife and fork on the table. Then... Where in the world did this knife come from? Oh, great. I'm not liking where this is going. If it pleases the court, I'd like for us to recall the room of the defendant, Mr. Man on Guard. Ah, uh, damn. I think we all know where this is going. Especially what's on top of this, of this table. There is something missing. Perhaps is a single knife? Uh-oh. We investigated leftover dishes for fingerprints, and while we were investigating, we came to the conclusion that Mr. Man on Guard's knife was missing. Ugh. Mr. On Guard has gone to the victim's room with a knife and he had used during dinner. Why would he carry a knife on a visit? To kill, of course. And with that, I believe the prosecution has proven this was a premeditated murder. Well, there goes Phoenix's point of view. Amazing, Mr. Edgeworth. Absolutely brilliant. A brilliantly clear deduction. Yeah, I can't believe your nose can't be further up his ass. Come on now. Seems like Edgeworth has had his plan from the very beginning. It must be one of those traps, and I just walked headlong into it. A murder weapon of fingerprints and a button from the victim's costume. There is quite a sizable amount of evidence here. I can safely say that any further deliberation is a waste of your honor's time. Although, I wouldn't mind if the defense were to present evidence not yet shown to the courts. Evidence not yet shown? He means evidence that the court hasn't seen yet. In other words, new evidence. But yes. It's kind of sarcastic there, if I have my point of view. What does the defense have to say about this, Mr. Wright? Um, well... Phoenix, the judge is favoring the prosecution right now. If we answer with something wrong here, that gavel has been ringing out of sound our defeat. That's right, do you have something important and necessary to present to this court? Um. Yeah, I, I, I mean, if we say no, not right now, then we might get screwed, so. Yeah. There's one. One piece of evidence that catches my attention. Something that this court has not yet has not has yet to see. Mr. Wright, I will say this one more time. I do not feel this trial needs to continue at all. However, I am giving you one chance, and only one. What the judge is saying, right, is don't try pulling one of your usual bluffs here. If I mess this up, it's it's curtains for all of us. Manning present one and only one piece of evidence. As you can see, our damn life bar or whatever is blinking the whole entire thing. So that means that we get this wrong, then there goes the case. We're screwed. So we cannot get this wrong, guys. Now then, what is this important evidence that you must show to the court? Well, there's always there's always something that's been bugging me and it's this right here. The wine glass. I just don't see how it was right next to the victim, everything was all messed about, except for this huge wine glass full, pretty much full, of tomato juice. I don't know, it just seems kind of out of place. This is a wine glass, is it not? Please look at the photo of the crime scene one more time. And you can see it's also in the crime photo as well. The scene is a mess because the victim struggle against his assailant. His vase was broken, his makeup was all over the floor. These were all things that were at one point sitting on top of the dresser. Hmm. Well, yes, I do see your point. However, this glass is, that is sitting on top of the dresser is mysteriously untouched. 
The only thing that had not fallen over along with, along with everything else is this wine glass. This piece of evidence is more than strange enough to warrant further consideration. Well, what do you all have to say? Um, well, yes, it is a little peculiar. Y yes, isn't it? <laughs> I thought it was. You can stop looking at me with those puppy dog eyes of yours now. Mr. Edgeworth? What, what is it, Your Honor? Your opinion. You don't need my opinion. Because there is no special meaning to that glass. What? Here we go. It's safe to say that the glass was set there after a crime took place. By that person who discovered a body. Adrienne Andrews, for example. She could have easily been so shocked that she set the glass down without thinking. Hmm. It does sound very plausible. Mr. Wright? Miss Andrews really has set that glass down without thinking? I, I don't see how. How would you not be shocked when you see a body like that? No! If I appear weak here, the trial's over. I can look for my proof later. For now, I should trust my instinct and point with certainty. You just might fall for it if you're thought-provoking enough. The defense would like to challenge the prosecution's theory. We would like to see something that proves it was Miss Andrews who set the cup on the table. Hmm. You turn the situation on its head yet again, as usual. Mr. Edgeworth, do you think you have any proof to back up your claim? There's no way he has any. He's just bluffing. Unlike Mr. Wright, I never say anything unless I have evidence to support it. What? You're not thinking hard enough today, right? Did you think this wine glass escaped my notice? Then... Of course it has been thoroughly inspected. For fingerprints. Fingerprints? There's only one set of fingerprints left on this wine glass. Only one? Well, whose were they? They were not the victims, nor defendants. Rather, there were one Adrian Andrews. What?! Oh damn, this is some information I should have known beforehand! That is why I said that the person who discovered the body had left it there. Are we done here, Mr. Wright? Ugh! I can't believe I fell into another trap! Miss Andrews was probably handling the glass when she saw it and when she went to see Juan. But upon seeing his dead body, she was stunned and set the glass down on a dresser. What you just said does make a lot of sense. Now, uh, what do you now do you see, Mr. Wright? You can't change any part of my scenario as it explains everything all too well. Ugh. I thought long and hard this past year about what it means to be a prosecutor. From here on out, I will show you the answer I have come to discover. Wait a second. Mr. Edgeworth, I think the prosecution has provided enough evidence for me to enter my verdict. Unfortunately, I cannot allow you to pass judgment just yet. The prosecution is yet another witness we would like the court to hear from. Another witness? Yes. Bailiff, please bring in the next witness. What in the world is Mr. Edgeworth thinking? Oh god, who's it gonna be? Ah, oh, damn it all the hell. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Witness! Your name and occupation, please! And there she goes with that. Ugh! Ha. Gotcha! Ugh. I wonder what happened to my calm composure yet earlier. Oh, Edgy boy! It's been, what, a year since we last met, is, hasn't it? You should hear... Uh, you should be more happy to see me! I saw the report of her testimony. Who knew that under that helmet? It was that wicked witch to witness stand! I tell you, this time I know you're supposed to do... I'm... Uh, whatever she just said. So today I'm gonna tell you everything and everything. Even things I don't have to do with that terrible crime. Miss, uh, Witness, uh, that terrible crime is all this court needs to know. Oh, boy. Oof! Shush! I'm talking to my dear Edgy Wedgie right now! Don't interrupt us, Gramps! Yes, madam. No, 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 please, by all means, interrupt us. Please! Ahem, um, 
Anyway, witness, your testimony, please. It's true what they say you've been hot-headed nowadays. Not that I mind at all, IG. Now then, what should I start with? A witness on security detail at the hotel the night of murder. Is this correct, Miss Olbad? It was a great job being able to see my dear Yuan. It was almost too much for my little heart to handle. You mean, you're a fan of the victim? But look, everyone is crazy over the end on guard, saying he's cute in a fresh way or something. But not me! I wouldn't say anything so silly. After all, I have no interest in a little child like him. I'm more interested in a real man, Juan. Um, but those two were the same age. Anyway, as I was saying, I was pacing in front of his room. Why is it going so slow? Of that night. Very well. Please settle with court what you witnessed the night of the murder. Leave it to me, Edgy Poo. Ugh. That's kind of disturbing. Ugh, okay. In any case, guys, we're going to hear from her testimony next time. And hopefully, it won't be that bad. We'll just see. So next time, as usual, um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All for Nintendo DS. See you guys later.